Echo Life EG8141A5 provides 1 GE port, 1 POTS port, 3 FE ports and supports 2.4 G Wi-Fi. The ONT features high performance forwarding capabilities to ensure excellent experiences with VoIP, Internet, and HD video services. These features make the EG8141A5 a perfect choice for broadband access. In this video, let's see how to configure Huawei Echo Life EG8141A5 VoIP for BSNL FTTH connection. Okay, let's get in the video. First, as usual, for UI we can't connect directly without LAN. So because DHCP is not enabled like that, so we are connecting through Wi-Fi. I like to remember you that we have already seen a video for how to configure for WAN connection but in this video we will see only about configuring voice ok remember this I will leave a card here so you can watch it after going through this video so after getting connected through Wi-Fi as usual following the same method open a browser so in this case I'm going to open Google Chrome. So here the URL is the IP address. To enter the configuration page for UI, just type 192.168.1.1. Sorry, 192.168.18.1. Enter the username as EP admin and password as admin EP. In both cases, uh, E is the only letter should be entered in caps and then click on login. Exit this service provisional method. Now click on advanced option. Now going to create new encapsulation mode as IPOE protocol type as IPv4 VLAN mode as root van and uh, service type as VoIP VLAN IDS 1831 and for this DHCP should be enabled for new connections and click on to apply can see this uh, we have created a so after that click on voice voice basic we have to enter the details here about the uh, outbound proxy server address you can enter 10.187.7.12 which may differ for different states and uh, different zones So in other case for our location say Nagarkoil Tamil Nadu I'm gonna enter TN dot FTTH VOIP dot BSNL dot in so it also varies depending on states and also depending on zones or uh, you can get it from the local exchange I'm gonna copy it and place it uh, in these five columns. Now change the signaling port to the LAN connection we have created in the starting of the video. Hope you remember that. Same as for media port 2. After that for basic user parameter enable these things after that uh, registration name as 91 followed by your area code followed by your telephone landline number so after entering that associated parts port as one and the authentication username as same as 
registration username 91 followed by your area code followed by your landline number and password mostly the password would be 1234 followed by last four digits of your landline number but it mainly depends on the exchange or it may vary and then click on to apply after that you can check the van information on the by clicking on van its status is still disconnected because i haven't connected the fiber optics if you uh, connected the fiber optics it may show as connected and now checking on the voip see the user status is registering if it gets connected it will show us uh, active so that's all about the voip configuration uh, i didn't uh, once again i like to say that i didn't configure van connection for internet in this video it is only for VoIP. you can see our previous video i will leave a leave the card the, in the upper top right corner of your screen go check it to know about our van configuration for internet okay th that's all about the video if you have any doubts you can just comment down here or you can just uh, reach out to our instagram channel you can uh, ask any doubts there we are available on time to help you uh, thanks for watching our video if you have liked our video you just drop a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel and once again thanks for watching